Hello and welcome to ATN World News. I'm Leah and it's great to be with you, the viewers all around the world. Today I'm having my dream interview people. I'm serious. I am with the one and only Barney Five. Hey Barney. Well, how are we doing there, Leah? I hope you're doing all right today. Oh, well, I'm hanging in there, and I'm feeling much better that you've dropped by. You know, I live so close to Mayberry. I'm thankful you came by for a visit. I get out of the house, make the rounds, you know, make sure the streets are safe. Oh, yeah, you do. Mayberry's safety's in your hands. I love the, um, uh, the way you uh, give people some understanding about nipping things in the bud. You want to share it with our audience? Oh, yeah. Sometimes people get way out of whack. You got to come in there and nip it in the bud. Because if you let those buds bloom, then you got big trouble. Got to dig deep roots. We don't want none of that going on. Wisdom, people. Wise wisdom from the five. And listen, I've always been wondering about your one bullet. Um, what is your philosophy on that? Well, a bullet is a lot like a gun. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Besides, I just use these lethal weapons when I need to. <laughs> That's true. You are very skilled and trained. You've studied a lot of books. And so, listen, uh, Barney, this has been quite a trip. I can't think of anybody better that I want to interview. Thanks for stopping by. Well, good to see you. Take it easy. All righty. And people, here is Rick Roberts. Isn't he honestly the best tribute actor you've ever seen? He has nailed the great comedian Don Knotts. And speaking of Don Knotts, I hear you're doing a show with Don Knotts' daughter called, what's it called, Knotts what? Knotts So Fast. <laughs> oh, there you go. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, Karen and I met a few years back, and we kept kind of kicking around the idea of doing a show together and working together at some point. And then I had an opportunity to book us into a theater in Texas uh, back in October. And when I was talking to the person that programmed the theater, I said, hey, I had this idea for a while. It's me and Karen Knotts. We'll do sketches, skits, music, magic, uh, improv with the audience, all kinds of things. And uh, so we put together a show. It was about an hour and 90, you know, I guess it was 90 minutes, so about an hour and a half show. And we're looking to do that at more theaters. We had a good time with the folks down in Dollhart, Texas, where we debuted the show. But um, it's fun. Karen's a great actress, great improviser, and a good magician, like all kinds of skills that I don't have. And then we kind of complement each other as far as how the show goes. And it's family-friendly, clean. Uh, you can bring all ages to the show. Probably the older folks will get it more than the younger folks, but nobody will be uh, confused at the end of the night with anything that we said. <laughs> It sounds great. I mean, man, that's a that's a dream show right there. I'd love to see that. And um, right now, uh, Rick has been on this really special uh, call, Mayberry Man. And uh, there was a great movie done uh, a few months ago, and it was so good, they decided to do a series. Share a little bit about that, Rick, please. Yeah, Mayberry Man is a movie about, uh, it's really a about two things at the same time. So it's first, it's all about the fans of the Andy Griffith Show. People like me who will occasionally go to a Mayberry Festival and dress up like Barney Fife and interact with other people, walk in the parade, do those kinds of things. And then the main character is a Hollywood actor who gets sentenced to attend a Mayberry Fest so he can learn how to treat people a little bit better, slow down, and have more respect for other folks. So he has to interact with all of us tribute artists, including Alan Newsom, who plays Floyd, uh, we've got uh, all kinds of different people who play all the different familiar faces of Mayberry. And so it's not a recreation of the Andrew Griffith show, but if you like the show, uh, it would be very familiar to you and you'd enjoy seeing the characters portrayed by us tribute actors, um, as well as kind of catching on to the main character's uh, storyline, which is a pretty cool story of transformation. That's wonderful. And people, they're... They did so well with that. They're doing a series. Now, they had a fundraiser from Indiegogo for the Mayberry Man, the series. Um, they, I think it might have ended now. They may be starting a new one. But if you look below in the description box of this video, we're going to give you the website that you can check it all out. And, um, Rick, um, I, the one thing I really appreciate that you're offering is you're offering solid, good um Wow, entertainment. And I mean, I, I looked at some of your videos, you're even doing office group things where you talk and teach like you go over things like the Nip It in the Bud series and stuff like that. 
and you offer clean entertainment that anybody can just come in and watch and people you can connect with rick um, do you have a website you can give them yeah it's just rikroberts.com you can click on there find out more about what i do you know, I do stand-up comedy majority of the time, but also groups sometimes want laughter with learning. And so I've got three different programs, including the Mayberry Method, uh, that I can offer groups if they want to have a little bit of a takeaway point at the end of the talk, as well as a lot of laughs. So you can find about all that stuff on rickroberts.com, as long as you spell Rick, R-I-K. My gosh, that is so unique, that takeaway point thing. Not very many people doing that. I think this was great for office parties, uh, special occasions, you know, with groups and organizations. And um, Rick, uh, I want him to make this brief. This man is so busy every day, every day. There's something on his calendar. So I didn't want to hold him up. But before we get off, Rick, do you have anything else you'd like to share? I just think if you're a, a fan of the Andy Griffith Show, the Mayberry Man series will be something to check out. Uh, MayberryMan.com is the website for that. And they may do another fundraising round uh, to help with the editing and stuff once everything is shot. Um, and then that will be released at some point next spring, summer. The movie itself is on Amazon Prime. If you have that, you can go check out the movie right now. Or you can go to MayberryMan.com and uh, get a DVD of the movie or find out how to go watch it online there if you don't have Amazon Prime. That sounds awesome. And until next time, I'm Leah reminding you that God loves you.